Taylor Swift fans are up in arms, and it's not just about her music. When news broke that Judge Aileen Cannon, an appointee of former President Donald Trump, refused to dismiss a copyright lawsuit against the pop icon, the backlash was immediate. With social media buzzing, Swifties have flooded Twitter, linking the judge's decisions to her ties with Trump. So, why are fans calling foul play? And could this lawsuit threaten Taylor's creative legacy? Let's dive in! This lawsuit has taken a dramatic turn, with allegations and frustrations swirling in the Taylor Swift fan base. Here's the backstory. Swift Production Company, Taylor Swift Productions Incorporated, is facing a copyright lawsuit brought by poet Kimberly Morasco. Morasco claims that Swift's albums Lover, Folklore, Midnights, and even the tortured poet's department borrow from her original poetry. According to Morasco, Several songs and music videos allegedly mirror her work, including the use of unique expressions from her poems Fallen from Grace and Dealing with Chronic Illness, Vestibular Neuritis. Morasco even alleges that a specific chair dance in one of Swift's videos mirrors her own choreography. Swift's legal team wasted no time refuting these claims, calling them legally and factually baseless and requesting the case's dismissal. In their initial filing, they argued that the lawsuit failed to show that any protectable elements had been copied, confusing common themes and general expressions with original, copyrightable content. But the case didn't end there. In fact, Judge Aileen Cannon has twice rejected Swift's team's motions to dismiss. Just last month, she declined a second attempt from Swift's legal team to put the case to rest, keeping the lawsuit alive and the stakes high. Swift's fans, better known as Swifties, quickly took to social media, connecting Judge Cannon's rulings to her appointment by former President Donald Trump. Cannon, after all, made headlines in another high-profile case concerning Trump's handling of classified documents, a case she ultimately dismissed. Now, in the court of public opinion, Swift's fans are voicing their suspicions, with one fan tweeting, Remember, Trump hates Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is being sued, and Aileen Cannon is the judge. Another fan doubled down on this sentiment, claiming on Twitter that Cannon and Trump are out to destroy everyone against him. Fans' grievances aren't just about this lawsuit, though. Swift has been increasingly vocal about her political stance, including her endorsement of Trump's rival, Vice President Kamala Harris. The endorsement prompted Trump to publicly declare his dislike for the singer, Posting on Truth Social, I hate Taylor Swift. This sentiment has only fueled fan theories, with some believing that Trump's animosity towards Swift might be influencing the outcome of this case. The original lawsuit dates back to April when Morasco filed in small claims court, only seeking $100 and a writer's credit. But the case has since escalated, landing in federal court under Judge Cannon's jurisdiction in the Southern District of Florida. In October, Morasco amended her complaint, now seeking over $7 million in damages, signaling just how high the stakes have become. Swift's legal team, meanwhile, maintains that Morasco's lawsuit is an overreach, calling out her claims as an attempt to capitalize on the singer's fame. Morasco's accusations are particularly contentious because they touch on more than just lyrics. Her claim extends to visuals, like the chair dance routine, which she believes mirrors her own choreography. This means the lawsuit is challenging not just Swift's lyrics, but her music video concepts and performances, elements that are core to her brand as a multifaceted artist. Swift's fans argue that the claim itself is exaggerated and misrepresents Swift's creative process, which draws from a range of sources and personal experiences. So... What happens next? As it stands, the lawsuit will continue under Judge Cannon's oversight, and unless there's a new development, the trial could proceed, putting Swift's creative integrity under public and legal scrutiny. For her fans, though, this case has quickly become about more than just copyright, it's become a flashpoint in the political and social landscape that Swift has often addressed in her music and public appearances. This case has raised some big questions, not just about copyright and artistic freedom, 
but also about the connections between celebrity, politics, and the law. Swift's fans have drawn a line in the sand, showing that they'll stand behind their idol even as the legal battle rages on. So, what do you think? Are these claims against Taylor just a reach, or could they hold weight? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to The Fame Journey for more deep dives into celebrity news, lawsuits, and beyond. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.